Well, 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 it's cold and flu season again. It's I'm still constipated from Christmas food and feel like crap season because I can't stop eating the cakes and the cookies and the canned food and the cornflakes and the cream cheese and the coffee and the cream sauce this and cheese everything and cream everything. And now that my gut is filled with garbage and my immune system is shot, here comes Corona and the new improved, more powerful COVID. Yep. Well, luckily they say that the answer is contained within the problem. So what do all these things have in common? Hmm. Well, they all start with the letter C. Vitamin C. That was pretty clever, huh? I thought of that myself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh well, yeah, okay, so we all know that vitamin C helps. And we also know by now, hopefully you've been listening, that you can't just run to the store and buy that cheap white ascorbic acid you buy in the store that they call vitamin C because that's simply made in a lab by combining cornstarch and sulfuric acid. It works short term because it is an acid and acid does kill some bacteria and viruses, but it backfires after a while because it is after all just a chemical made in a lab. What, what your body really needs and your body cannot make vitamin C is it needs a full vitamin C complex, which you can only get from plants. And that is all the different associated acids, the bioflavonoids, the cofactors, which makes the healthy vitamin C complex that your body needs. Now, you see, you can't just simply take vitamin C and be healthy if you keep eating the crap that makes you sick. We already know that. Hopefully you understand that concept. You can't just take something to be healthy. You have to stop what's making you sick. Well, we already know that. All right. So. That you already know. The reason for this video is a new study that just came out from the British Medical Journal. And it states, a first of its kind study has investigated the relationship between COVID-19 severity and the gut microbiome. Wow, could it actually be that what I've been saying all along is actually true? That the gut bacteria you have determines how healthy or how sick you are. That's amazing. And they say in this study that certain bacteria they found help you fight off just about anything. And certain bacteria makes you sick. So, but the interesting thing about this study, because it's from the medical world, is they don't know where it comes from. That's mind boggling that they don't make the connection that the gut bacteria you have is determined by what you put in your mouth by what you eat. So if you eat bread and cookies and crackers and pasta, anything made with wheat and baked in an oven, then or sugar or dairy or anything like that, you're feeding basically what's called yeast. That's not even a bacteria. Yeast is a monster unto itself and it balloons out like crazy. If you balloon out like crazy after you eat, a lot of that is probably yeast. It's, it's like bread rising. It's just inside you. And what yeast does to your friendly gut bacteria, ooh, it's like an elephant rolling over on a community of mice. That once you start feeding that yeast elephant, really hard to get rid of. Now you can't simply go out there and take candida pills and think that's gonna help. You know, you have to stop feeding it what makes it big, what makes it grow. And then it, it, once you stop feeding it what it feeds on, and that's mainly sugar and wheat products and all that, it shrivels up and goes in the corner and it just minds its own business and it's okay. You have to feed the good guys. And what do the good guys eat? Well, the main food supply of, well, I've been saying this for, what is it, what is it? That's right, raw plant fiber, not baked, not boiled, not cooked, not microwaved, but raw plant fiber is what your gut bacteria likes to eat. And some of you might say, well, we're not designed to eat raw plant fiber. What are you designed to eat, candy bars? I mean, come on, give me a break here. You go out in nature, you eat some berries, you eat some carrots, that is raw plant fiber. It's not that complicated. This isn't rocket science. And you're right, some of the stuff that you eat from the plant world, it's got a really tough cellulose coating, which your body has a lot of trouble breaking down. Well, that's because you're not supposed to have it. It's your gut bacteria that, that, that it goes through your, your digestive stomach system. Boy, I'm really, really technical today, aren't I? And it gets into your gut where your gut bacteria, that's where it starts to go to town. And that, so you gotta feed those guys too. So some of it's made for you and some of it's made for that. That's why the plant world is so perfect. It's got some nutrition for you and some of it for the, the gut bacteria. So if you wanna be healthy, if you wanna fight off anything that's floating around out there, just eat right. It's that simple. That's the moral of this video. That's the basis of health and longevity. It's that simple. It really is that simple. But Marcus, I need some kind of excuse so I can eat my candy bars and my bread. Well then go get sick, I don't care. 
But Marcus, it takes too much work. No, it doesn't. A lot of these things only have three ingredients. But surely, Marcus, there must be a way to... No, there isn't. You can't cheat. I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. I have nothing else to say. I've said my bit.